I spend a lot of time out on Payne's Prairie and just being out on Payne's Prairie and, and it's a wonderful place to be and I'm real proud that I live in a in a state that allows that place to exist and considers a prairie a, a valuable thing. And the man that's standing on stage right now is um, is partly responsible. He works for the, the Park Service and coordinates educational programs for all the parks in the northern end of the state. But as important in the tradition, I see him sitting right out there, in the tradition of people that carefully look at what's around them and then kind of mold it into a, ooh, I didn't just see that face fall over to me. <laughs> that was an ugly sight. To mold their observations into something that's going to live past the moment of conception is a, is a real important skill and, and privilege. And I see Dale Kreider sitting out there and he's done it marvelously for years. And so has Mark Smith. And I always appreciate his eye and his hands and his voice. And uh, I think if you listen to him, you'll join me in that appreciation. Mark Smith from Gainesville. Thank you. It's really appropriate that I should uh, follow Whitey today because actually in 1991, it was uh, Whitey Marble that got me performing in public. Whitey, thanks for getting me performing in public, man. We, uh, we used to hang out over at Nappy's, Napolitano's, uh, where Whitey hosted an open mic in Gainesville on Thursday nights. and. And we never drank beer because we didn't want that to affect our singing. And so we just had to sit around and tell stories. And then after we were through singing, we, uh, we had a great time. But I, I appreciate Whitey and, and his music. And we also grew up on the same side of town here in West Jacksonville, Florida. I'm um, going to do a couple of new ones today, a couple of old ones, and even get you to sing along with me on one. First one is... Uh, the title song from my new CD, which will be out to by the time we get to White Springs for the Folk Festival, it's called The Sun of Winter. And the sun in winter is one of the very defining things about Florida. There's sort of a dividing line. The folks in South Florida relate to it in one way that's very different than the folks in North Florida who, uh, like myself, are a little bit sad. This song is actually a lament. A little bit sad when you don't really get winter when it's taken away from you. This is called the Son of Winter. Beach and rivers and the fabled orange groves. There's no 
brauchst du mir nie Rückkraft. It's a prisoner on the road. You can't escape the sun of winter. And spring will soon unfold. Summer heat down here seems to last forever. But autumn died an early death That crisp air never came It landed on a blue ridge Stranded, weak and lame Those breezes slide their way south Must finally surrender Failures blossom without fear beneath the sun, the sun of winter. For stopping by. Okay, I'm going to do another new one here. And, uh, <laughs> I always strive for a great degree of historical accuracy in the Florida history stuff I write about, but this is really a long story and I wanted it to be a three minute song. So, not that I've really been any details around or anything, it just goes really fast. You got to kind of hang with the facts as we go through here. This one wouldn't win any awards for songwriting, I don't think, but it's just a great story. It's one of those true stories that, that doesn't get told very often. And you have a part. Uh, think of a Gilbert and Sullivan opera, or think of anything you've heard where somebody sings a verse, and then the crowd joins in and sings the same line, or sings a line, and then the crowd joins in and sings a line behind. The title of this song is The Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. The meaning will become clearer as we go. But your words are, yes, a great musician's what he wants to be if he's caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. And the music is like the little sailor's hornpipe thing. Yes, a great musician's what he wants to be if he's caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. So I'll be singing my line, yes, a great musician's what I want to be if I'm caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. And then you just repeat that, yes, a great musician's what he wants to be. What in the world is this story all about? Well, let's go back about 400 years, and I'll tell you. Hey. We'll jump into a war right here between the French and Spanish. They both settled in North Florida and wanted each to vanish. So one group marched, some shots were fired, and others did set sail. But soon the French had found themselves at sea amidst a gale. Now Huguenots and Catholics may sound like they're all Christians, but each thought the others were from hell and founded their own missions. But the Spanish had the maker's ear and French plans came unraveled Cause that hurricane ran their ships aground at a cape we call Canaveral Still with me? Yeah. We'll get to the chorus in a minute But the French persisted and walked north but Indians blew the horn they told the troops in Augustine that the French were tired and warm. And so the Spanish met them in the dunes and made some harsh decisions. They put everyone to death but a few Catholics and musicians. Hey! 
so a great musician's what I want to be. If I'm caught between the devil and the deep blue sea, yes, a great musician's what he wants to be. If he's caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. Hey! Well, Matanzas is the name they gave that graveyard by the ocean. And tourists lay out on it now in shades and suntan lotion. Well, I'm nothing against Catholics, I'll just find my own religion. But in case I'm ever shipwrecked, I'll confess I'm a musician. Hey, I'm a great musician, what I want to be. If I'm caught between the devil and the deep blue sea, yeah, a great Way back to 1990, way back 10 years anyway. Is there like, a, are we being invaded or something? It's already happened. Actually, that's a nice sounding engine. I'd like to see the airplane that goes with. That's a big old Pratt and Whitney something, isn't it? That's nice. Sounds like a B-24 or something. I like that. A little aviation bus thrown in for fun. Um, I work for the Florida Park Service, and I was playing some Florida tunes around the campfire at Ranger Academy 11 years ago or so, and um, one of the gals that's a ranger came up to me afterwards and told me the story of her life and why she loves Florida and about growing up on the St. John's River, and, and um, the story of her life was such a wonderful one that I decided to make a song out of it as she went on to tell me why she had become a park ranger also. This is called Native Princess. She'd wake up in the morning and run outside to play with black dirt under her toenails and mosquitoes chasing her pigtails. She'd hide and seek with the shadows and the broken hammock light. The little house by the river with rotten rain damp wood was her palace it was her castle her glass slippers sandals with tassels and she'd sit on the stump of a cypress in the steamy full moonlight and she'd be the native princess a crack of child that grew up in the wild with owls, raccoons, and Florida moons for friends. A princess in her dreams and the native princess hopes her dreams will never end. She got older, she traveled a path without a heart. But those sticky nights of her childhood stuck with her like fire to firewood. So she made up her mind she'd go back and feel those nights again. And now she's back in the forest the woodlands and the streams and she's telling any who listen the Florida they're all missing it's not a place you can visit 
It's a place that lives within. And she still made a princess, a little cracker child that grew up in the wild without raccoons and Florida moons for friends. A princess in her dreams and the native princess hopes her dreams will never which is Water on Three Sides, and Water on Three Sides is now available on CD, and we have those for sale here. Those first two are going to be on um, the Son of Winter CD that will be out by White Springs, as will this one. Uh, there will be several non-Florida songs, which is a little a departure for me. This is called Whatever Comes Next. There was only one lamp lit in her hall when Madam Kara set me down at her crystal ball and said, stranger, why are you so perplexed? Mm -hmm. She said, you just gotta do whatever comes next. So I went down to the corner, found a man with a cane. He said the thought of walking's what caused his pain. He buys whiskey with money he collects. He said, you just gotta do whatever comes next, boy. And a lawyer and an Indian chief I said I need some direction I need relief This journey that I'm on Has got me turned around They said that's because the map You're using is upside down Upside down And off I went on the road to be successful, Lord, just president. It ain't nothing. It's not as hard as one suspects. No, no. You just, you just gotta do whatever comes next. You just, you just. Gotta do whatever comes next.
Thank you. All right, we got time for one more, and we're going to bring on the Ashley Gang, one of my absolutely most uh, favorite group of talented people all together in one place. They really are. choose to move through space, especially aquatic space. That's what this song is about. It's called Paddles and Sails.
Thank you. Thank you. Mark Smith. I love it when somebody can just 